Okay, so you guys have any idea how long that last video took to edit? Oh, so this time you get a big long video and uh, minimal editing. I'm just you're gonna get what you get. So just so you know. All right, so. This car came in for a couple reasons. For one, it's going into limp mode. It has something to do with the uh, APP sensor, but what we're doing right now is testing this map sensor. So we got a P0108 and P0106. So map sensor out of range and then map sensor uh, voltage high. So, or circuit high. And uh, this map sensor has already been replaced and a complementary strip bolt going into the manifold. The, these bolts holding the, the map sensor are loose. They have replaced the throttle body instead of the APP sensor, which needs replaced. So dealing with a mess here. So we just need to figure out if this circuit integrity is good. Uh, we need to get to the bottom of that P0108. So what you're looking at here is the meter, obviously. Now that's gonna be what we're seeing when we take the reading. Now, the scan tool here, uh, just pay attention to the green trace and that's what the computer is seeing. So that's very important to, to uh, you know, take into account because, you know, what we're seeing and what the computer is seeing is, is uh, very important for a test like this. <clears throat> so, Right now I'm just going to back probe that five volt reference circuit and obviously we should have five volts. So as you can see, we do. Um, we got five volts on that circuit and so that's good. So now what we need to do is jump that five volt reference circuit to the signal wire. And then we wanna see what the computer is seeing. So you can use a paper clip. Uh, I mean, I'm not using a paper clip right now. I, I prefer to use, to just back probe it. I don't know, paper clips, are, they're just thick. This is just easier for me. Uh, so, and, and this is a connector, you know, disconnected test. So I got that one end of the the back probe into the five volt reference and then the other side of this lead is going to go into that signal wire and you should see that spike on the computer there so we're at five volts now on that uh, sensor signal wire it says it right there I don't know if you can tell by looking you can't really tell but it says 4.98 volts so you want to remove the jumpers we know that that signal wire and that the 5 volt reference wire are good so the job that the ground does well it pulls it to ground so it pulls that five volts to ground. Now, when I plug this sensor in, we should see almost zero volts. So we're at, I don't know if you can, you can see the graph, it went up, but we're at 3.84 volts. So we got an issue with this ground circuit and I don't, it, it's not a sensor issue, it's a, it's an actual um, circuit issue. So, you know, that's, that, that's probably why they replaced the map sensor is just because they were guessing or uh, lazy, I don't know. But you need to verify these things. So now we need to test that wire, it's an orange black wire, and it runs through the harness here, straight to the PCM. So, you know, 
it, it didn't look like there were any slices or anything um, like it it's it's internally grounded inside the ECM so either we have a issue with maybe that ground wire is shorted to a power wire or I don't know yet but so that's what we're gonna figure out I, I was testing resistance between that terminal and ground now spec is five volts are on or I mean sorry uh, five five ohms or less resistance and I'm getting 20 so that's our issue there's something going on in this circuit that is uh, it's got a bad ground so there's a couple ways you can you can verify that like you, you can you can either depin that or snip the wire and then run a redundant wire from there to the uh, ECM you want to snip it on that side too in case it's uh, shorted the voltage somewhere and uh, so this is the ECM right here and we want connector X2 so I assume that's going to be the middle one. I assume it's one, two, three, and then one, two, three, there's three connectors. So, I mean, I hate to assume, but I'm going to uh, assume this top connector looks like somebody did remove the little locking tab. So I don't know if they were in here testing or what, but, um, so that's where we're at. Okay. So I double checked. It is in fact that middle connector on the ECM there and so we're going to be checking resistance between that orange black wire on the uh, the ECM connector X2 and this orange black wire on the map sensor. So I'm just checking for resistance. I want to see, you know, why I was getting that resistance over here, you know. That's a lot of resistance, yeah, 20 ohms. So. You know if this checks out then we'll load test it or you know we'll just we'll, we'll figure it out as we go so i think you guys should be able to see that oh well that means infinity so if you ever see that, that, that means the wire's broke. Not even a strand left. Okay. So just watch that. Yeah, so that's good. I mean, there's like almost no resistance in that wire. I mean, it's good, but, you know, according to the service information, I was just skimming through it. You know, the next step is to uh, test this ECM for failure. So, yeah, let me just, uh, let me go check out what our next step is. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So, as you can see, you know, that's where we're at. We disconnect the harness connector. Test for less than 5 ohms resistance between terminal 2 and ground. If greater than that specified range, test the low ref circuit for open or high resistance. That was what we just did. If the circuit tests normal, <laughs> replace the ECM. Uh, so I guess we need to load test that wire. We still have both those connectors disconnected. So now we're gonna load test it. The point of this is, you know, even just one strand hanging on in there, can create no resistance. I mean, I've seen it with horribly corroded wires, but still have no resistance because somehow there, <laughs> there's electricity getting through, you know, but how much amperage can it take? You know, can it hold a load? That's the question. So, all right, so I got my, uh, my headlamp right there. Um, you can buy these on Amazon cheap or eBay or whatever. You can use any headlight bulb I had another one, it's little, but I went to go use it and uh, apparently it's fried or broke or I don't know. Anyways, so we had 0.2 ohms or whatever, so there's like no resistance in that wire. Um, like I said, now we're going to load test it. So I still have 
it back probed in the same spots. I have this wire going from my test lamp to this side at the ECM. It's still disconnected. And then we have the other end of the wire at the map sensor connector to ground. So that being said, that's how you wire in a test lamp. And then you just want to grab, you know, the other side, the wire going into the light and you want to put it on power. So if that wire going all the way back through that harness can hold a load, this light will, it'll light up bright. We want to see a bright light, not a dim light, a super bright light. So there you go. I mean, and it's really bright out here, but yeah, that's bright. That's really bright. Um, so, you know, we just hold it on there for a minute. I remember you want to isolate the circuit. If this is, a, you know, if that was connected to the ECM right now, you'd fry the ECM. Um, this is something you want to do with an isolated circuit only. Yeah, and it's bright, really bright. Maybe you can't pick it up on the camera, but it's super bright, trust me. <laughs> it just blinded me with my sunglasses on. According to the flow chart or whatever, that's the, that's the, that's the step, and then you replace the ECM. I'm not 100% convinced yet. Uh, I might look it up a little bit more, but you know, if you're getting that code, uh, circuit high code, and um, it's on a three wire reference circuit, or you know, this is how you test for circuit circuit integrity, and this is a something that that this is a skill that you need to know because you know this has been to multiple shops. I just talked to the client, and you know, I guess they replaced that map sensor twice. Uh, I don't know what else they did, but that wire goes from the map sensor to the ECM. So it's, it's not looking good for the ECM. You know, right now, uh, you know, I'm gonna call it a bad ECM. Uh, it probably has a bad ground. That, that would be another next step is to check the grounds on the ECM. So actually we should um, do that real quick. Let's see here, so this, this wire right here, that is the uh, ECM ground, and I'm not gonna, uh, I don't know where the other end of that is, so I'm not gonna use the test light, but I am going to test for continuity between that and ground. So, it's going to, that throw it right there. And then I'm going to grab the uh, other lead. Where did, where did it go? Okay, there we go. So I'm going to put it back on uh, ohms or resistance. And I want to check the continuity between there and ground. You know, I'll just, I'll just use this. That's a lot of resistance. Um, okay, there we go. Never mind. I wasn't making good contact. We got 0.2 ohms. So, you know, once again, this is not looking good for the ECM. Uh, things like this, I like to double and triple check. But, you know, I'm gonna call it. That's I'm gonna call it that for this video. And hopefully, you guys learned something. You know, that's the point of these videos. You know. I hate, I, you know, I hate when I can't give you a for sure answer, but, you know, my phone's about to die, and, um, yeah. I also want to clarify that the reason why I even suspect the ECM is that orange-black wire goes to the ECM, which grounds it. That ECM internally grounds it, so, you know, if we're getting zero ohms of resistance between here and there, and then we're getting you know, 20 ohms of resistance from that wire to ground, you know, while it's plugged in, and that tells me that that ECM has resistance, it's bringing it to ground, so, you know, 
if it does end up being that ECM, I will uh, post a follow-up video and, you know, because I think you guys need to know an answer to, you know, stuff like this. It's, it's important that you're uh, as accurate as possible and, but I hope you guys learned something from this one. Uh, I honestly, I, I wasn't thinking I was going to be testing wires. Uh, anyways, so there you have it. Uh, circuit integrity testing. And, you know, I don't know if we're going to be able to fix this map sensor code today. But, you know, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of further testing. And if I end up replacing this ECM, I'm going to do a follow-up video with the fix. Because I think that's important, you know, for you guys to see the end product not just me telling you it needs an ECM because that's not you know that's not quality content so I hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell and I'll see you next time thanks for watching